want to say thank you to all of you for attending your fun holiday Gaines Chamber of Commerce Pine Rest Giving Tree and Appreciation Luncheon. I do see a lot of familiar faces here with me today, and I also see some brand new ones. So we are so excited that you're here with us to join, um, celebrate the holidays. We hope that you were able to place a bid, as I've been saying all along. Our beautiful auction baskets are over there, and once we eat lunch, you can, you'll have another chance to do that. All of those proceeds will be going to the Pine Rest uh, Giving Tree families, so, um, and they'd love to have a great Christmas because of you guys. So. We also hope that some of you guys, I believe, um, were able to get your picture taken by the Christmas tree out front. Our amazing business partner, Luke, from Atlas Photo and Video. He is, where is he? Oh, there he is. Say hi. <laughs> He's got a table up here with his business cards as well. So um, please uh, take the time to meet with him today. All right, so we're here just to enjoy each other's company, kind of build business relationships, celebrate, Christmas, holiday season, and really thank each and every single one of you uh, just for your, your amazing partnership with the Chamber uh, throughout this year. As I hope many of you know, my name is Barb Nauta and I am honored and very blessed to be your Executive Director to your Gaines Chamber of Commerce. Again, it's yours. We've got a lot of exciting information for us to share today. Um, before we begin, as always, I like to pray over our event and our meal. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and feel blessed for the opportunity to gather here today. We come before you now to give you thanks for all that you have given to us. Thank you, dear God, for those that are here to share your blessings and the generosity of our hosts and sponsors that make this event possible. We pray that this last month of the year will be filled with your peace, with your presence, and with your hope. Help us to remember what's important during this holiday season. And may we find joy in the simple pleasures and treasure each and every single opportunity to gather with family, with friends, and with our business partners. We pray for comfort for all who are going through difficult times. We ask for your healing hand to be upon all who are ill. We pray for provision for all who are in need. We pray for protection for all who are in harm's way. Please bless all of us and use us so that we can be a true blessing to each, to each other. May the days ahead bring everyone here beautiful blessings and fulfilled dreams that bring all of us so much closer to you. Please bless this meal and this event that we are able to share together. We thank you for our Savior Jesus in whose name we ask all of these things. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's get started. We're going to welcome, I would ask Pine Rest, I think Donald McKenzie, Candy McKenney, and Nancy Carter to share the Pine Rest Giving Tree information, the impact of the Giving Tree, if you guys could come forward. Let's hear Pine Rest. Pine Rest, woo -hoo! Thanks so much. That was awkward transition, so sorry for that. <laughs> It worked though, right? So my name is Donald McKenzie. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to have Nancy and, and Candy come up here. So I uh, have the pleasure of uh, heading up the foundation here at Pine Rest. I have the foundation team with me. Um, I have the best job at Pine Rest and I have a very easy job. I have the best job because Pine Rest literally pays me to play golf and eat out, uh, which is a pretty good gig, right? And uh, to talk about uh, what we do here at Pine Rest. I have an easy job because Pine Rest has been here for 113 years. We have a great reputation in our community, and uh, we serve people who many of them didn't plan on being served by us, uh, but we are glad that we are here for them uh, when they need us. And so uh, we want to say thank you to the Gaines Township Chamber for um, supporting the Giving Tree this year. Um, the unique thing about my position at Pine Rest is I don't interact with patients and clients. Uh, I interact with donors and uh, sponsors. And so uh, rather than uh, these two ladies telling me how the gifts are used every year and then me telling you, let's just cut out the middleman and have uh, Nancy and Candy tell you a little bit about the program. So with that, I'll introduce Nancy and Candy. Thank, thank you. you. Hi, my name is Candy McKinney. Um, I am one of the program managers in the residential programs. Um, so I've had a pleasure of working here for the past 18 years. And in the variety of the different homes th that I've worked in, we work with a lot of adults, like currently, and kids that have been at risk. Um, a lot of them come in with nothing. 
Um, a lot of them have special needs. And with Christmas time coming up, you know, that's the time that we spend with our families and the time that we want to be around like other people. And so a lot of the residents that we serve don't have families that, and they don't necessarily know like that people that care about them, you know? And so by providing them with like gifts and like the gift cards, um, they know that the community is thinking of them and that there are people in the community that do care about them and want to give them something, even if it's like something minimal. With the gift cards, they usually use that for things that they need because with not having families, not having any financial like support, they use it for things that they need like hygiene products or for clothing or like things that they could use that would benefit them. So, yeah. Excellent. Um, my name is Nancy Carter. I've been at Pine Rush for over 30 years. Um, most of my time has been spent at a program called Pine Rush Christian Homes. Um, it is adult foster care homes, and we have four of those. Uh, we also have what we call semi-independent living apartments. So we serve about 50, we call them residents or tenants some in the apartments, but, um, and, and Candy did such a great job of explaining what we do, but, um, I think in the homes, we have typically through the years had a lot of residents come to us and they've had good families and um, they want their loved one to be at Pine Rest Christian Homes because of our foundation. They know Pine Rest or strong in the community as many of your businesses are too. And so um, I think that through the last few years now, we've had a lot more people come to us that have less family, sometimes no family. Um, and like Candy said, the, the giving tree is essential to them, really, um, because they don't have a lot for, them, uh, for themselves. Um, a lot of them come in with only um, SSI. They're given $44 a month um, to cover their needs. And I mean, I, I don't even go to Meijer uh, one trip. <laughs> I can spend that much easy. Um, and they have to make that last all month. Um, and so... Um, I'll tell you a story about um, one of our residents came to us a couple years ago. Um, she had been living at home with her mom um, in their own home. It was a small little home, but her mom passed. And unfortunately, uh, they had the same guardian, and this guardian basically stole their money. She sold the house and all the possessions, and um, this resident had nothing. So she's left with no family, no home. Uh, she ended up in an AFC that um, was, they were not kind to her. So by the time she showed up at, at one of our homes and was admitted into our program, um, her support coordinator, kind of a, ca a case manager, um, brought us out to the car to welcome her. We were excited to meet her. and. Um, she opened up her trunk and she had two plastic containers in the back and and we're thinking okay this is clothes and you know the things that she would need to get started in our home um it was craft supplies she literally had no clothes in in any of her bags she only had what she was wearing um and she she just had very little essentials so um for us Things like the giving tree, where we have people that will give um, sacrificially and, and help somebody not just survive in a home, but thrive um, and have value. Like being able to take her to a store to buy underwear <laughs> and socks and essentials um, is, is vital to, to the people in our homes. So thank you so much. Um, I, I wish we could bring our residents here yeah. to, <laughs> to say thank you themselves, but um, mm -hmm. we'll be their spokesperson and, and let you know that you, you make a difference to the people that we serve. So thank you very mm -hmm. much. Yeah. yeah, so at this time of year, we just know um, that there are plenty of opportunities for you to uh, think of those that are not being thought of. And so on behalf of Pine Rest, I just want to say thank you so much for um, supporting the Giving Trees. Um, also, I did mention that there is a silent auction going on to support uh, the Giving Trees as well. Kind of a fun holiday game is, you know, you put someone else's name down on those, uh, on those sheets, you know. <laughs> that person, you never know what to get for them. Plenty of options over there. So thank you again. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much for all you do for the community. Um, just such a blessing to have Pine Rest uh, right in our backyard. So let's um, give them a round of applause one more time. All right, you ready for my sides, everybody? Okay, good. You got coffee? <laughs> As you know, um, our Gaines Chamber of Commerce, or yours, is dedicated to fostering growth and development for all of your chamber businesses to enrich our community. Um, we are member focused, we are solution focused. We want to work with integrity and we will continue to positively impact each and every one of you, our Gaines Chamber businesses and your community families. At this time, I wanted to thank our awesome 2023 Gaines Chamber board members for their amazing commitment throughout this year. Amber Lenhart, Holtz Jepson Physical Therapy, Brad Sperlin, Rena Sperlin, Chick-fil-A South, Brent Springflood, Farm Bureau Insurance, Heidi Vanderkolk, Heidi Christine Salon and Spa, Jay Maherbeer, Meyer Grand Rapids Market Director, Kevin Schaff, Schaff Law, Lori Lemke, Gaines Charter Township Treasurer, Matt Hoffman, Michigan First Credit Union, Matt Van Dorr, Matrix Printing and Mailing, and Scott Yaki from Hydros. Let's give all of these wonderful men and women a round of applause. All right, at this time, we want to make sure to honor and thank Matt Hoffman from Michigan First Credit Union and Matt Van Dorr from Matrix Printing and Mailing for their so many years of commitment to your Gaines Chamber of Commerce. We so much appreciate their service through the community business members and our chamber. Now Matt Hoffman joined our chamber in the fall of 2019, took over on um, our executive board as the treasurer in 2020. We just so much appreciate Matt's true commitment to making sure our finances are in order, leading our scholarship committee and our new membership benefit package committee. He has been instrumental in the success of this chamber. His continued leadership at our meetings, his great strategic input and advice throughout the years has really helped us become the chamber that we are today. We have had so much fun with Matt and he will be so truly missed. We ask Matt to come up here and accept a gift. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, thanks, Barb. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> Matt Van Door has been with us for so many awesome years. In fact, he began his board member, we're calling a lifetime commitment in 2000. <laughs> and it's funny because when asked how long he'd been with the chamber, his answer was quite honestly, forever. <laughs> his loyalty to our board and continued commitment to this community has just been truly amazing. He and his team at Matrix Printing have supplied all of our printing materials, our signs, for so many wonderful years, and we'll continue that. And we are just so grateful for all their help. We were so blessed to have him with our board for so long. We ask him to come up to accept this gift. Yeah, you don't want to leave us yet, do you? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Oh, thank you for everything. So again, with great sadness, but again, so much appreciation, we just wish them both um, the very best. You will be greatly missed um, on the board, but we, we know that we will still have you within our business uh, chamber family. And um, I do know Matt has agreed to still help us lead our scholarship committee for next year. So thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, we also want to say a huge thank you. We've got our Kent County Sheriff Department. We've got Deputy Jason Vandermolen and Lieutenant Randy Kieft. Where are you guys at? Oh, over there. Thank you so much for your service. We also have our Cutlerville and Dutton Fire Department. We've got Ken Van Hall, Justin Holmes, Mark Gruders, Brant Bobbledyke, 
Tannen Eckhoff, Chris Felsen, and Justin Minema. How did I do, guys? All right, <laughs> thank you. So much appreciate what you do for this community. All right, it's my slide. For the <laughs> I don't know why, I just cannot take this one out yet. Um, and maybe in 2024, I'm not sure, but I love this slide just because I have so much fun with it. So when I say, who is Gaines? Everyone in this room, I need you to holler because you're on TV, BCTV. We are Gaines. All right, you guys ready? Who is Gaines? We are Gaines. See, I just love it. <laughs> um, as I've said in so many, so many times, um, your Chamber of Commerce is just excited to play such an integral part in the lives of our community and your neighborhood businesses. We know that each and every Gaines Chamber member is considered a family, and we need to take care of our family members. That's our job. Bringing awareness to your businesses, building those long-lasting relationships, community involvement, collaboration, we know crucial. Oh, oh no. Praying for all. <laughs> um, are so crucial and essential to strengthening and building your healthier community. Um, and as I've say, I say this a lot, working together, I know that we can and we will continue to create economic success and positively impact your Gaines Chamber businesses and all of your families. And as Helen Keller on your, on your little table card here says, alone we can do so little, but we know together, together we can do so much. So let's talk about um, some of the benefits of joining the Chamber, and many of you have already seen this slide, so I'm going to talk as fast as I can. When we go into, um, we've got our Chamber website, as you know, it links all of our chamber member businesses to the community. We've got contacts, we've got referrals and job postings. We've got our directory, and guess what? On, in uh, 2024, we will be distributing 1,500 more copies of this directory. It's a printed directory. You want to make sure to join the chamber. We want to get your names in that. I can tell you that Meyer, Jay from Meyer, stated that these uh, township directories that you have right in front of you, these go like hotcakes in Meyer and the township office, any new business, any new family that comes in, they are handed one of these. All of your businesses are in this directory. So the other on the front page there, our, our preferred partners, um, and you'll, we'll talk about some of the membership packages, but this is prime, prime real estate here to be on that front page. So we thank, thanks to Matrix Printing for printing that for us. We've got some events I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, where we were in 2023 and um, some of new events that we've got coming up for 2024. We have our networking group, uh, Brent Springblued, where he are, uh, Brent. He um, leads our networking group and we're always looking for new members. He's from Farm Bureau Insurance. We also have our ambassador group, Jen, Jen Hock over there from Great Lakes Insurance and Kinsey Financials. She leads that and we're always looking for new ambassadors because as we move forward to 2024, we want to create those strategies for promoting your awesome businesses. So please, if you want to join any of these, barb at gainschamber.org. Again, our business members are totally, uh, you guys are family and we want, we want to make sure that you bring money home to your families. I also, um, just as a reminder, I had connected or tried to in an email sharing all of our 2024 new membership benefit packages. If you haven't received it, please just let me know. Our year begins January 1st and goes December the 31st. So please, take some time, share this information with all of your neighboring businesses. Because we honestly know that the more businesses we add to your Gaines Chamber family, the more success you are going to have networking your business. Just point them to www.gainschamber.org. All right, so let's talk a little bit about 2023. We've got 19 brand new chamber members and we're continuing to grow, which is a, 
amazing thing. We were able to distribute our 1,500 printed directories. We have, um, obviously, the Sun and News. We had a couple of um, articles that were published. BCTV is with, always records our quarterly luncheon, so you can always go out and see what was going on here. We've distributed seven scholarships, and we hope to do more in 2024. We also distributed the Business of the Year Award, Business Owner of the Year, Outstanding Person of the Year, Lifetime Achievement Award. And this committee is headed up with Keith. Keith Harris, where is Keith at? There you are, okay. Um, he's from Stonehenge Consulting and he leads that uh, committee. We're able to donate to two of our community food pantries this year. Um, we're continuing to increase our social media presence. Um, at first it was very few Facebook followers, now we're up to 375, so not so bad for the year. We've offered 24 fun events, networking events. Um, we've got our quarterly luncheons, the multi-chamber events, and um, we had a successful golf outing. And we also added the movie in the park that we partnered with um, KDL and the Gaines um, Charter Township. And we, I think we, there was probably 200 families at this particular movie in the park event. So again, a ton of fun. Um, we were able to, you know, as we, as we move forward, let's talk a little bit about our 2024 goals. We always, always, always want to continue to gain new chamber businesses to bring those networking opportunities to you. We have added, um, and I'm going to talk about that as well, just some of the events that we've got coming up for 2024, five new multi-chamber events with five different chambers that are right around this area. Um, we're, we're, we talked about the new directory that's coming out. We've got our new and improved Gaines Chamber uh, community membership packages, which I'll tell you about. Um, our scholarship program is going to continue for 2024. Here's what I would ask of you guys. If any of your businesses would like to be part and contribute, it's usually a $500 or $1,000 to this great program, um, please just send an email to me. The scholarship certificate that these students receive has your business name on it, and you're invited to that luncheon as well. So just please let me know. The deadline to that is December 15th, so it's coming up, but please um, we definitely want to do more uh, scholarships throughout the year. We hope to increase our chamber ambassadors with uh, Jen and the team, and as always, just continue to work diligently to increase community awareness um, with area businesses, and then improving our social media platform. So we're hoping that we listen to you, that we captured what you guys are needing as we move forward into 2024. Let's talk about some of the events real quick. We will have our quarterly luncheons, as you can see. Um, on your table card are the dates in there. I will send out all of the location information. The quarterly luncheons are from 11.30 to 1, and we've got them at various locations. If you want to sponsor a table at these events, they go fast. So the sponsorship is you get to decorate your table and you get extra time to market your business at all of these fun events. We've got our networking after hour and business tours. Business tours were a little something new for 2023. If your business um, would like to host an after hours event or a business tour, let me know. We'll get a date and a time on the calendar and I'll just send out the um, invite to everyone. They can do a tour through your business. We can do an after hours. Whatever works for you, um, we wanna do to network your business. We're going to have our golf outing again this year at Stonewater Country Club. Um, we're hoping to get a date in June, so more information is coming with that. We're going to continue with our movie in the park again and our business networking event as well. So um, a lot of fun, just chamber events. Now, if we look into the multi-chamber events, as you can see, we've got our Connected Chamber Women, the Business Blind Date, Speed Networking, and our Gun Lake Casino is on, event is on there. I can tell you that the Connected Chamber Women's event on February the 19th, Gaines Chamber is going to be hosting that. So please, if you want to sponsor a table, they go fast. The last one we sponsored, we, have, we had over 100 businesswomen, and every table was sponsored. So it was, it was such a, a fun, fun event. Um, so some new um, events that we've got coming up for 2024, we had decided to partner with uh, Byron Center Chamber, Caledonia, Granville Jenison, and Whalen. So just a few of them that are around this area. We all, all the directors got together and said we need to do more multi-chamber events so that we um, have more opportunities for you guys. So we'll have a burger 
Burgers, Brews, and Bros. It's an after hours in February. You got March Madness. Um, there's gonna be an active assailant, active shooter training. We've got a panel discussion. It's gonna be thinking outside the box, recruiting, engaging, and retaining talent. Um, so we'll have a panel of uh, great speakers at that particular event. And then um, Bay Point is gonna do another after hours event for us. So, so many opportunities for you guys to market your businesses. So as you can see, very busy and successful networking year. Um, we want you to know that we heard you and we're bringing more multi-networking events to each of you. And guess what you need to do? Let me, I bet you, I wonder if you can guess. All you need to do is show up and attend. <laughs> Building those business relationship connections are key. We've got the events, we need you there. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about just the brand new 2024 membership benefit packages. There is a QR code on here, if you can take out your phones. If you can click on the QR code, it's also on your table card. You're gonna see a screenshot that's gonna look just like that. And again, I'm gonna just very briefly talk about some of these new um, membership benefit packages. I want you to know that it's, it's been years, oh, probably over 10 years that we have even looked at these membership packages or done anything to them. Oh, probably over 10 years, John Heisinger Sr. How long have we had the same packages? <laughs> a long time um, so after you scan that just click on new membership benefit packages and you're going to see a screen that just looks exactly like this so first we just want to say we listen to you um, we wanted to know what you needed for your businesses so we tried very hard to place all of that information into these new benefit packages as you can see, we're focusing on what the Gaines Chamber and what your businesses are all about, and that's building a stronger and healthier community. So our new package names are community member, community supporter, community partner, and community champion. Heidi from our board was um, graciously added these names to us. We have added a new student package this year for those students that would like to learn more about what the chamber is and how the student can contribute to the community. We have also have a nonprofit package and of course our entrepreneur package for you guys. There is also, um, not the QR code, but I, and at every table I believe you have one and it has membership benefit packages. Um, it's just a piece of paper that you can look at as well. So the overall strategy which each of these packages is really just to include extracurricular events like our golf outing that you can attend, adding your directory business ad page placements, plus adding some awesome additional benefits like a photo headshot or spotlight video from Atlas Photo and Video, marketing email, hot deal blast that you can have for your company without me sending you invoice after invoice after invoice after invoice. We're hoping it's a one-stop shop for you guys. Please let us know um, how we're doing. Let us know what you think of the packages. Again, we need to listen to you and you um, create the chamber. So it's all up to you. Um, let's see. If you have any questions, um, I would ask you, can you please email me, barb at gaineschamber.org, the package that you're interested in. If you have any questions or if you need me to contact you, place your phone number in there and your name, I will call you. Let's figure out what's the best package for your business. Uh, I wanna make sure it's a good fit for you guys. We wanna also thank our membership committee and computer genius, Scott, where are you at? <laughs> um, just for, organizing, creating this great new information for all of you. We also, again, just can't thank you enough for your com continued amazing partnership year after year. So I'm looking forward to 2024 with all of you. I'm looking at everyone, let's see. All right, I got all of you. <laughs> Please, let's get you a package, let's get you a membership, and, and let's get you signed up, and let's have fun together. It's gonna be another awesome year, I can feel it. I want to say thank you to our awesome sponsors, Hydros, Atlas Photo and Video, and Chick-fil-A South. 
Our speakers from Pine Rust, thank you. Our speaker from Gaines Charter Township. I want to thank John Heisinga Sr. for the beauty, beautiful poinsettias that you see at your table and out front. And also Mrs. Heisinga. <laughs> um, we want to also thank our Pine Rest Conference Center team for allowing us to have this event at their amazing location. Um, and also, please know that you can rent, and there's other rooms in here to rent. Julie, where is Julie at? Oh, she, she's out that way. Okay. Julie is amazing. So if you need to rent a space, contact Julie. She will get you all set. She even decorates the table for us. So it's amazing. All right. While you guys are eating, we've got Rod Wiersing with us from the Gaines Charter Township Manager to talk a little bit about the Gaines Charter Township. Welcome, Rod. Thank you. I'm just glad that Barb didn't put me between you and your food, so <laughs> keep eating away. Um, just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, some things that happened in the township this year. Um, the number one word uh, for this year for the township would be development, um, and it's ongoing. Um, so a couple of, couple of projects that were uh, approved this year, one of them started um, construction actually um, end of last year. Um, Brewer Park Apartments, that's going at uh, up of Division near 84th Street, backs up to Brewer Park, 187 units there. Uh, River Birch Apartments, 348 units, that's on um, 60th Street uh, east of Hannah Lake. Um, both are going to be higher end uh, apartment complexes, um, so a uh, little bit nicer units. Um, the River Birch has uh, a couple buildings up already and, and they look really nice. Um, you've probably heard of this project, it's been going on for a little while. The consent uh, judgment was finally signed for this year, so this is the development that's going across the street from the township office. Um, so. 625 dwelling units, uh, that's gonna be 127 single family, 80 townhomes, 300 apartments, and 110 um, senior living units uh, on like 82 acres of land. So it's gonna be um, kind of packed in there. Um, uh, nice thing is it's gonna have a little bit of a, um, a commercial area uh, for some um, smaller businesses, hoping to see like a coffee shop, ice cream shop, um, uh, salon, um, so a variety of things uh, to kind of cater to that, uh, that development. Uh, a couple other residential developments, so single family, um, were just recently approved. Uh, Hoffman Meadows, um, that's uh, 121 homes. That is uh, off of 68, uh, kind of halfway between Kalamazoo and Hannah Lake. Um, that's going to be a, a really nice development. Um, and then Thornapple Farms, this is phases one through six. This is like the first half of this development. Uh, so 178 homes here. This is from Hannah Lake to Hammond, um, uh, right between 68th and 76th, so by Dutton Shadyside Park. Um, uh, then the next phase is gonna go all the way up to 68th Street. Ashford Woods, this, uh, if you've been down 60th Street by Calvin Community Church, you've seen they've taken out a lot of trees and have started bringing in a lot of dirt. Um, so this is the first uh, phase, which is going to be 152 townhomes um, going in there. And then the other, the phase two, is going to go along 60th Street on the other side of the, the main drive there. And that's going to be a, about another 150 units going in there. Um, so with, with all that residential, if you added that up, did anybody get a total? It's about 1,600 dwelling units that are gonna kick off next year and probably be mostly complete in the next three to five years. Uh, so it's gonna be a, a ton of uh, new residents into the township. Um, got a couple people that might uh, know what this building is. Um, so this is a new addition to this campus. Um, uh, 135,000 square foot building. It's going to have 66 uh, patient beds um, and, and going to be a really beautiful addition to this property. Um, Avon, you recognize this building. Um, so this is uh, Carbon 6 Construction Vision Real Estate. You can see this off of M6. It's on Wing Avenue. 
Um, but just a beautiful building. They did a fantastic job. Um, it was a great addition to the community. Any hockey players in the room? This is one of my favorite developments. So Howie's, Howie's Hockey. Um, their big thing is, is tape, but they also do uh, wax and laces and just a fantastic company. Currently located in Wyoming is, is building a new building, um, just shy of 54,000 square feet in the township. Um, so this will be their world headquarters. Um, and then getting into the industrial side, um, this is the, the steel case property. So uh, south of Amazon and Coca-Cola off of 68th Street, this actually runs all the way down to 76 um, from Patterson to Hammond. Um, 330 acres that were um, just rezoned to um, industrial. Um, they have a couple uh, interested parties looking at it. They've already, um, this is an older picture. You can see the little road stubs there. That's already been um, extended a little bit um, for uh, new users of that property there. Um, one of the big things that happened in the township this year, um, the Colorville Fire Department, um, which handles this area. Um, you can see on the shield was established in 1950. So 73 years that's been a, a joint operation between Gaines Township and Byron Township. Um, Gaines was notified in July of this year that Byron is uh, going to sever that relationship. So if you've seen the media coverage on it, they use some, some words that were not necessarily befitting of the situation. Um, they talked about the Colorado Fire Department dissolving. Um, they talked, basically made it sound like it was going away, which I just want to make sure you understand. The Colorado Fire Department is not going away. Um, the, uh, this area will still be covered um, by a fire department. Um, the, the agreement is, is being severed, um, but we will continue to serve uh, this area. Um, so right now, uh, as of right this minute, um, the plan is that Gaines Township um, Cutlerville Station will occupy the current fire station at 1168th Street. Um, the plan is to find a place in Gaines Township to build a new station down the road. Um, we don't know what that time frame looks like right now, um, but the goal would be to, to get out of that station at some point and better serve Gaines Township from Gaines Township. Um, looking forward to 2024, um, glad we've got uh, the lieutenant and deputy here. Um, one of the big things going on in the township is additional um, uh, uh, staffing from the Kent County Sheriff's Office. So we've added, uh, beginning uh, early January, uh, a noon to midnight shift um, for additional staffing within the township. You may have heard um, Gaines Township has uh, climbed to the number one spot in the county for level one and level two calls, um, which is not a, a spot that we were looking to get gain, um, but we're there and now we've got a uh, work within that. So we're adding some, some sheriff patrol uh, to help uh, help keep you all safe. And that is all I have. Thank you. All right, you guys, I just want to say thank you again to all of our chamber members, our board members, our amazing sponsors and awesome speakers. What a fun event. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you. I hope you had a great lunch and I hope to see you in 2024. So thank you again.